Good afternoon. I'm Mike Sloy from Coastal Fertility Specialists, and I'd like to speak with you about oocyte donation, or as we call it most commonly, egg donation. Egg donation is a variation of in vitro fertilization that involves a third person, an egg donor. The reason that we need egg donors is because not all women's ovaries work particularly well. Women can go into premature ovarian failure, meaning they go into menopause before 40 years old, or the quality of their eggs can diminish such that pregnancy is very unlikely. While typically this happens in the late 30s and into the 40s, it can happen at any age. Egg donation, which was really started in the early 80s, has revolutionized how we can help women whose ovaries are not working well. The very basics of egg donation are this. A young woman, an egg donor, will go through an in vitro fertilization stimulation. Her eggs are retrieved and then would be combined with the man's sperm, the husband of the woman who is um, trying to get pregnant. Those embryos develop and after three to five days are ready to be transferred. Now, while all of this is going on, the recipient woman has been going through a separate hormonal regimen to prepare the lining of her uterus. Estrogen is used to make the lining get thicker, and progesterone is used to make the lining supportive of an early pregnancy and receptive to the embryo. So that when the embryos are ready to be transferred, they are transferred into the recipient woman because she has been coordinated with the egg donor. And thus she is able to become pregnant, carry the child, and by all rights is the child's mother when that child is delivered. Now, a good question is, is where do the donors come from? The donors can come from one of three sources. Anonymous donors that we recruit, anonymous donors from a commercial agency, or known donors, friend, sister, cousin, somebody who'd be willing to do that for you. Everybody is screened the same and it's a very thorough screening. Looking at psychological issues, looking at their family history, their genetic history, looking at their medical history, and needless to say, we're very interested in what their ovarian function is. Of our donors that we screen from the initial call, only 1 in 8 to 1 in 10 are actually accepted into treatment. It's a very, very rigorous training process. Now, these donors are then coordinated with the recipient couple. The recipient couple undergoes uh, infectious screening as well as screening to prepare the recipient woman for having embryos transferred. Things like a saline sonography or hysterosalpingogram to evaluate the uterine cavity can be done and uh, making sure that her uterus is going to be responsive. Then it's a simple matter of coordinating the two cycles. Uh, overall, egg donation is one of the most effective things that we can offer anybody at any age. And one of the reasons for that is because of the excellent work of our third-party reproduction team in identifying and screening these donors.